congratulations, you've had successful cataract surgery. I'm sure you are feeling slightly apprehensive before the procedure, which is totally normal, but hopefully it was much easier and perhaps even more pleasant than you might have imagined. The new lens is now inside the eye. The eye is sealed and within just a couple of days, you'll probably be seeing really quite well. You've been given a post-operative instruction sheet that outlines all the important points. I now want to run through my instructions for you personally. You've been given three different post-operative eye drops to use. If you are having both eyes operated, then keep the left eye drops for the left eye and then use the right eye drops for the right eye, i.e. try not to mix the bottles up. This just reduces the risk of contamination or infection. Try and space the eye drops out evenly throughout the day. However, don't worry too much about this, i.e. the drops don't need to go in exactly every six hours. As long as you get the correct number of drops in each day, then I'm happy and you'll do great. I want to show you the easiest way to put an eye drop in. Twist open the cap, pull off the plastic ring, shake the bottle to mix the medication, stand in front of a mirror, pull down the lower eyelid and sneak the eye drop in from the side. This is much easier and certainly more pleasant than trying to dive bomb the eye drop in from high altitude. Some of the eye drops might slightly sting. Think of this like salt on a wound. The drops might tingle, but they are good for the eye. You may have been using dry eye drops immediately before your surgery, such as FML, Hylofort or Novatears. You can stop these now, but please hold on to the bottles as we might restart them again in a couple of weeks. If you normally use glaucoma eye drops in the operated eye, then please continue to use these drops unless myself or the day surgery nurse advised you otherwise. The question that all of my patients ask me is what is it that I can and cannot do after surgery? So I'm going to run through this now so it's really clear. On the day of your surgery, I recommend that you simply go home and relax. Leave the eye shield on, have a good night's sleep, and in the morning you can take your eye shield off and you can start your post-operative eye drops. It's really important that you don't rub your eye. Wear the eye shield at night for the first two nights. This stops you rubbing your eye inadvertently during your sleep. After cataract surgery with me, you can basically do everything that you normally would, with a few key exceptions. Don't drive for approximately 24 hours or until you feel comfortable to do so because you've had some sedation. Ladies, please don't apply eye makeup for five days. Don't rub your eye for two weeks, that's very important. Don't go swimming for at least two weeks and don't do strenuous exercise or heavy lifting for two weeks. I define heavy lifting as anything where you have to brace your core and hold your breath. These activities of heavy lifting transiently push up the pressure inside the eye and they could in theory stress the tiny incision. This would include significant gym weights, doing sit-ups or difficult yoga poses. However, there are most things that you can do entirely normally. You can still read, you can watch television, you can do normal household activities as much as you like. You can bend forwards, you can do aerobic exercise such as walking, light jogging and cycling. You can still shower straight away and wash your hair, but just keep your eye closed in the shower and don't try to deliberately go washing the eyes. The tears and the drops will clean it for you. You can drive as soon as you feel comfortable and most of my patients will have legal driving vision by the following morning. However, do keep in mind that you've just had a sedation and therefore you're advised not to drive for 24 hours. A good rule of thumb is that every day after surgery, things should be getting better. Vision will get better, redness will get better, and discomfort will get better. As long as you are constantly and slowly improving, then I'm happy. The morning after your surgery, your vision will still be slightly blurry, although sometimes we're pleasantly surprised. The light's going to seem extremely bright because your retina isn't used to seeing the full colour spectrum so intensively. Some of my patients will even choose to wear sunglasses inside for the first 24 hours. This is perfectly normal and the brightness does settle very quickly. Sunglasses aren't medically necessary and you don't need to wear them, but of course feel welcome to do so if they make you feel a bit more comfortable. The eye typically feels a bit gritty or like there's an eyelash in the outer corner. I assure you that there is absolutely nothing on the surface of your eye. 
What you are feeling is the after effects of the strong antiseptic solutions that we need to use and the tiny incision which is in the outer corner of the eye. This irritation will settle over a week or so and your post-operative eye drops will also help to soothe it. You might have a slightly bloodshot eye, this is very common, but it goes away over a week or so. Over the next few weeks, you'll find that your vision progressively improves, but it fluctuates. You'll have moments that are really clear and then moments that can are significantly more blurry. This is all due to dry eye, which always gets transiently worse after eye surgery. This is due to the antiseptic solution used on the day of surgery and all the preservative that are in the post-operative eye drops. If dry eye is affecting your vision when you come for your post-operative appointment at one week, then my staff will likely to get you to restart some of the lubricants. If you normally wear distance glasses, then you may feel imbalanced until you have your second eye cataract treated. You're effectively in limbo during this period. In terms of glasses, just do whatever is most comfortable. Some of my patients will still choose to wear their glasses all the time, others will go with no glasses, and others will remove the lens in front of the operated eye and will wear the glasses with only the lens in front of the unoperated eye. All of these options are completely fine. Wearing glasses or not wearing glasses will not damage your vision or affect the way that your eyes heal in any way. Just do whatever is most comfortable for you. Importantly, only drive if you have clear vision and you feel confident doing so. Don't go and get new prescription reading glasses made until six weeks after your cataract surgery. In the interim, you could try getting a pair of reading glasses from the chemist. Chemist reading glasses are okay. They're not a good long-term option as they aren't customized for your eyes, but they are an inexpensive solution that can tie you through those first six weeks. Please phone my rooms if you have any significant concerns. My phone number is answered 24 hours per day, seven days per week. I definitely want to hear from you if you experience any of the following. Really strong pain associated with nausea and vomiting. If you're seeing lots of flashing lights or seeing dark shadows in the periphery of your vision. Or if your vision and redness suddenly get a lot worse. Every patient is always worried about infection. However, just keep in mind that infection after cataract surgery is exceptionally rare. When it does occur, it's actually usually going to occur at around day six after surgery. I just say this to reassure you that most minor irritations and minor blurring in the first few days after your surgery is entirely normal and is usually nothing serious. So once again, congratulations on undergoing cataract surgery. Take care, enjoy your new vision, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.